Well, thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. As you were told, my name is Bill Wegner. I'm here from a group called Good News Ministries, which is a Catholic lay ministry to conduct your parish mission, which uh, starts tonight. I'm sure you all know about it. It's uh, tonight, 7 p.m., and uh, it's a four-night mission. Sunday right on through Wednesday, each night at 7. And we also have a special session on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday morning after the 9 a.m. Mass. And I'm simply here for a few minutes to extend an invitation for you to attend the parish mission. You see, I'm a full-time Catholic lay evangelist. <laughs> you ever see one of those before? No, no. There's not a lot of us around, but uh, there's a few. I've been doing this full-time in the church now for the past 18 years, and I've uh, conducted hundreds of parish missions, mostly in the United States, but also in Ireland, Northern Ireland, and in Central America, and several here in your diocese. Now, I'm usually somewhere like North Dakota or Texas or someplace like that, but I'm more the local guy here. I'm, uh, I'm from the Trenton Diocese in New Jersey. So as I said at the other masses, it's nice to be among people who are not going to make fun of my accent. So it's good to be with you, that's for sure. Well, what is a mission? Why, why do we have these parish missions? Well, a parish mission is a special time, isn't it? It's a special time of grace and blessing, a special time put aside by the parish family so that we can gather together to be encouraged in our Catholic faith. So wherever I go at every Mass, I like to take a little survey, so I'm going to ask you this question. Is there anyone in here who could use some encouragement in their Catholic faith at times? Sure, I think that, that we can all use encouragement at times, isn't that true? But if we know anything, we know that Jesus is our main encourager, isn't that true? But we also know that Jesus came not just to encourage us, he very much came to challenge us. And, and that's for sure, and we hear that all the time. We hear it in the readings every single week. We certainly heard it in the homily. We, we hear it all the time. We hear the encouragement. We hear the challenge. Uh, I heard a saying about that many years ago, and I, I've always remembered it. And here's how it goes. That Jesus came not only to comfort the afflicted, but he also came to afflict the comfortable. Isn't that true? You see? And that's why I can get excited for you about the parish mission here because it wasn't that many years ago that some people came to my parish. My parish is St. Veronica in Howell, New Jersey, and quite frankly, they very much encouraged, but very much challenged me in my faith, because to be honest with you, back then, I had gotten very, very comfortable in my Catholic faith. That's for sure. Here was my attitude back then. I was very willing to give God an entire hour every week. Wasn't that nice of me? <laughs> but I didn't want to give him any more than that, you see. As a good Sunday Catholic, putting in my time, fulfilling my obligation. Here's how I thought back then. I never missed Mass. And when I came to Mass, I never wanted to be a bad Catholic. So I never sat in the last pew. I sat in the next to the last pew. That was my regular seat. Now, why did I do that? Well, quite frankly, when my time was up, I wanted to get to my car faster than anybody else and get out of there and I'll see you next week. And that was my attitude. And, and, but it was through this parish mission that I was challenged enough in my faith to see my life for the first time, as St. Paul tells us, through the eyes of Christ. It changed everything. Transformed my faith, my family, my work, and eventually led me into full-time ministry. So I'm hoping with all my heart that you put the time aside to be with us for these uh, four nights and or these three mornings. You see, we do them at night and in the morning uh, to give everyone an opportunity to attend as many sessions as possible because some folks are busy. Anybody in here busy? <laughs> Come on, everybody thinks they're busy. Isn't that true? Uh, at the last parish, I asked that question and two five-year-olds raised their hand, okay? <laughs> And I think they were busy, to tell you the truth. But this is our opportunity now to put some time aside, to gather together, to evaluate where we are on our journey with Jesus, to look at our lives in relationship to our God and to our church. And as I said, it'll be a time of encouragement and a time of challenge. 
Good News Ministries is a laity to laity ministry. I'm a lay person just like you. I'm married. I have four children. I have a son and three daughters. They range in age from 43 to 30. I had a great experience one September. Maybe some of you can identify with. I sent one child off to college and another off to kindergarten. <laughs> Come on, that's ugly, isn't it? Yeah, I know, I know. See, but I know what it means to raise children, now grandchildren, and I know what it means to pay mortgages and taxes and bills and insurance and all that other kind of stuff. I know what it means maybe, maybe to have a little bit of anxiety about what's going on in the world today. You know, not just financially, not just terrorism, not just that kind of stuff, but even things like movies and TV and social media and the internet and all that kind of stuff. I'll tell you this, I'm here this week to share with you my excitement about what's going on in my life and how God is working. And I'm hoping that some of you will share your stories with me. And my excitement about being Catholic in the world and in the church today with all of those challenges. So again, I'm hoping with all my heart that you put the time aside to be with us. The sessions at night last about a little bit over an hour, maybe an hour and 10 minutes or so. The sessions in the morning after the 9 a.m. mass, uh, they last about 30 minutes. The talks at night and in the morning are different. They're different, but we have a wonderful theme of our parish mission. The theme of our mission is living in God's mercy. And that's what we're gonna talk about. What does that mean to us? How do we live that out in our everyday lives? It'll be a time of encouragement and a time of challenge. I spent most of my adult life trying to be somebody, trying to be somebody, not realizing that from my baptism, you know what? I already was somebody, you know? But if you would have known me years ago by the standards of the world, I looked pretty good from the outside, successful businessman, doing well, nice house, latest car, vacation home in Disney World in Florida, very, very involved in my community. I was an elected official in my town, was the president of the Board of Education. I even had my own cable TV show for business, and everybody knew me, and they would say things to me like, wow, Bill, you know, you're a self-made man, you're a success story, you're living the American dream, and that kind of stuff. But I'll tell you what, if you really, really knew me back then, you'd know this about me. There was something missing. There was a restlessness there. St. Augustine tells us that our hearts are restless until they rest in God. Boy, that was true in my case. And it was through that parish mission at my parish and other things that I came to realize that what was missing in my life was a deeper, more meaningful, a more personal relationship with my God. And as I said, it changed everything. So again, I'm, I'm hoping with all my heart that you put the time aside to be with us at this parish mission because it's about us and our ongoing formation as God's faithful and holy people. So I'm gonna end with a little story that I always tell. I love to tell this uh, because uh, it, it, it shows how well formed we are as Catholics. And it's an old story and you'll know that at the end and maybe you heard it, but it makes the point. It's about a bishop who goes to celebrate a confirmation liturgy. And this church still had the pulpit where you walked up 10 or 12 steps and looked out over the people, you know, like the old time, and uh, he, he, uh, he decides, well, let me go welcome everyone before the mass starts, so he makes his journey up. He leans into the microphone, and he says, good morning, everyone. Well, there's no response whatsoever because the sound system isn't working. So he does the normal thing. Taps the microphone a little bit, says it again, good morning, everyone. Nothing, nothing. Everyone's just staring up at him, looking at him, right? So he looks around for help. He says, this microphone's not working. Says it again, good morning again, nothing. Well, now he's annoyed. He's walked all the way up there, nobody's helping him. Mass needs to start, so in his annoyance, he takes his hand and he bangs the microphone real hard. Well, the sound comes on, but he doesn't know it. And in his frustration, he raises his hands over his head and he says, there's something wrong with this microphone. And the people who are so well formed in their Catholic faith responded, and also with Did I mention we'll have some fun at the mission, okay? 
Okay, let, 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 me, let me take another little survey. How many of you in here have ever been to a parish mission? Just a few. Okay. The rest of you need to ask yourself this question. How come? Why not? And am I coming to this one? It's a wonderful time of grace. Father Peter invited me here for all of you. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. It's a wonderful time of encouragement, a wonderful time of challenge. We'll pray, we'll sing, we'll be challenged by the gospel. It'll be a, a fantastic time. Seven o'clock tonight, let me tell you something. There's no better place to be. There's no better TV show, there's no better football game, there's no better social activity. If you have plans, let me give you some advice. Cancel them, okay? Let's gather here, seven o'clock tonight, let's fill up the church here so that together as a parish family we can be encouraged and yes, challenged in our Catholic faith. God bless you. I'll see you at the mission. Thank you.